The Tornado, both the, the ground attack version and the fighter version, were designed with auto automatic wing sweep in mind. Um, in fact, when the Saudi Air Force flew the Tornado F3, they had automatics. But the Royal Air Force, in their release to service, said that we could use the automatics. So there was a big lever in the pilot's cockpit, and it was a very big clunky lever that you, you had to move. When it got to a certain speed, you had to move it to make sure that um, the wings were in the right place to give you the right amount of lift and, um, and, or, or the, the, the least amount of drag, depending on the configuration. So um, very interesting learning all of the numbers. So it was all about figures and, and what was the max speed in a certain wing sweep. I'm trying to remember the figures. I think it was 25 degrees, 35 degrees, 45 degrees, 50 something degrees and 67 degrees. So mm -hmm. when you see the wings all the way swept back, that's 67 degree yeah. wing swept. And then for takeoff and landing all the way forward at 25. Mm -hmm. um, so that was quite hard work, knowing all the numbers. The airplane would actually talk to you, not, not from a digital point of view, you just, feel it. just you could feel when, when, if it didn't feel right and the buffet was slightly wrong, the wings are in the wrong place, mm -hmm. or you didn't have the maneuver flaps and slats extended. So if you're going into a dogfight, of course, the speed you want to enter is very fast. So you've got to have the wings back but then you can't turn with the wings back. So as soon as you hit the merge, so you're, you're, you're just about to start actually going into the visual arena, the visual fight, you'd have to perform the airplane. So you'd start slowing down as you're performing. The wings would have to go forward. You want even more lift, so more turning power. So you'd have to put the maneuver flaps and slats down. And what you'd invariably get is, as a junior pilot, if you didn't remember to do it, or you, you were just so focused on keeping your eyes on the bandit, that actually you're forgetting to move the, <laughs> the wings or forgetting to use, use the flaps and slats. Actually, the uh, the navigator in the back would be shouting, wings, wings, <laughs> or maneuvers, and that's all you'd hear from him. And it, that would then be your cue to do something with your left hand mm -hmm. in terms of uh, getting some aerodynamic devices deployed. So um, it was difficult to get used to to start with, Mainly the, the numbers were important because there were different heights, different speeds, different Mach numbers, different knot numbers for each of those different wing positions. And that was the most difficult thing mm -hmm. to, to get used to really.